Do you sometimes always miss parrying and deadlock? Well, luckily enough, I'm here to teach you some parry tips to help improve your game. And I have to say that YouTube are things, so subscribe if you're new, like the video if you liked it, and let's get started. One of the first and well biggest tips to parrying is you need to understand how to hold your parry. See, parry has a cooldown of 4 seconds. If you end up missing your parry, you're effectively stunning yourself. Now, there is an audio cue at the end of a heavy melee that allows you to help time when to parry exactly, just to make sure you're not parrying too early. You can easily practice this in the boxing ring in the sandbox mode. Something you should also know is that if you successfully pull off a parry on an enemy, your parry is instantly recharged. This allows you to pull off chain stuns and it keeps you alive just a little bit longer. This is extremely effective if you're playing against characters like Abrams. As Abrams is melee focused, you're gonna have to learn how to parry whether you like it or not. One of the best use case scenarios for the double parry is at the mid boss. You parry someone trying to steal the rejuvenator buff, then you're able to pull off a heavy melee onto the buff itself so you can secure it. After securing it, you can parry again just in case you need it, instead of waiting that 4 second timer. This can also be applied to many other scenarios, but you're probably mainly going to see this at the mid boss. Another extremely useful tip when it comes to parrying in heavy melees is that you can actually parry someone when you're not even looking at them. Upon activating the parry button, it essentially puts you into like a parry AoE, protecting you from any type of melee from any direction for a short duration. This is extremely useful to you because it allows you to try to bait the enemy into mailing you from behind and if you do end up successfully pulling off the parry on them they are stunned for three seconds which allows you to pull off two heavy melees onto the enemy knowing this allows you to dump a ton of damage to the enemy while they're stunned another useful tidbit is when enemies are trying to punch your friendly minions to get the souls you can use this opportunity to get close to your friendly minion and go for a parry now i won't say this isn't always a 100 success rate but sometimes doing this allows you to get some quick and easy kills in the early stages of the laning phase. But do be warned, this is also extremely costly. If the parry ends up missing, you're more than likely going to end up dying. It's a very risky play to try to pull off, but sometimes it's really rewarding. Now something that hopefully you should know by now is that you can parry Guardian or Tower's melee hits that they do onto you. This makes it so you take some reduced damage from the Guardian, protecting your minion wave a little bit more, or maybe you want to go onto a dive on the enemy laner and you don't want to take too much damage. Parrying the Guardian is a great way to achieve this. Now, now, something to know is that you can parry light attacks, which hopefully you all know by now. And do be warned, it's another thing like trying to anticipate when the enemy is going to melee a minion. Going for a parry on a light attack is less than ideal. And like I said earlier in the video, it's better to try to hold out until you get a heavy attack onto you. Something to also know is that at the end of the parry animation, for about maybe half a second, it will still pull off the parry. This can also kind of be caused from your ping or the servers, but for whatever reason, once the enemy and it's done just a split second that you can still be hit and they'll still end up getting parried. So use that knowledge as you will. Now something to also keep track of is that you can go for a heavy melee and instantly spin yourself around like a 360, 180 to try to fake out the opponent and make them parry. Hopefully by now you can easily distinguish between what is true and what is fake when it comes to a heavy melee. But it's just something that you should always look out for. Well most of the time, usually in the early stages of the laning phase, people will try to heavy melee you. And with this, you can anticipate what's going to be a fake melee and what's going to be a real melee. Now, logically speaking, of course, most of the time players won't go out for a heavy melee on you if you have minions still alive and they're pushing into the enemy's tower. Now, of course, this statement isn't like 100% accurate or true. There's always going to be the people that always try to heavy melee you whenever they can. So at this point of the game, it's something you should just expect. Whether you logically think it doesn't make sense to why they're meleeing you at this specific point, because at the end of the day, everyone that plays this game thinks it's a TDM deathmatch rather than a MOBA. But hopefully this video has taught you a little more helpful tips on how to parry better or what you should be looking out for. This has been Duck Films, and I hope you have a great day.